It is Thursday, June 20th of 2019. Had to think about the year there for a second. <laughs> and uh, this is Guy's Daily Drive. everyone doing on this wonderful, wonderful Thursday. I actually have tomorrow off because I'm helping my son Peter move again. <laughs> He's going from Fredericksburg, where he and his girlfriend currently live, to Stafford, which will be certainly be much closer uh, to where she works. Uh, she is now a graduate of the college that she went to and is a fully fully trained and qualified teacher so she is going to be teaching at an elementary school there in Stafford and uh, of course you know, we wish her all the luck because it's I don't know I, you know I don't know if, if I could have been a teacher I, I don't know if how much patience I would have had especially dealing with all the stupid politically correct crap that you have to deal with now and it just seems like there's so many of these kids that uh, you know you, you look at reviews of, of like for example I like to look at home listings for uh, Florida because I just like to see what's going on and I was looking at homes in the area that I grew up in, which was Oakland Park, Florida. And uh, all three schools that I went to, which at the time were probably middle of the road as far as schools go, but now they're, they're like just rated terribly. And it, we're talking Oakland Park Elementary, which I think has like a 3 out of 10. Rickards Middle School, which I think is like a 4 out of 10 and Northeast High, which I think is also a 4 out of 10. So none of these schools have exactly stellar records as far as, um, you know, places that you would, you would want to send your children. And, you know, I got to ask myself, what, what happened? What is the difference between when I went to school and kids going to school now? And for, for a good part of it, 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 almost, it almost seems like we have bent over so far backwards to try and, and shelter these kids from all of the various good and bad things that can happen to them that they just don't know how to act. You know, you read, there's a lot more cases of bullying and the schools can no longer really hold these kids' feet to the fire as far as discipline goes. It just seems like they, they just get away with it because their, their, their parents threaten to sue if, if the schools do anything. And these schools become almost like a daycare center, you know, some place to park your kids for eight to ten hours a day while you're at work. And the, the kids just aren't learning anything. And not only are they not learning anything, they come out of these schools just completely ill-prepared to, to be able to do anything. And so they, they just don't they're not ready for college and the ones that are ready for college it's it's almost like a lot of the colleges now are an extension of this exact same thing where they're they're protected and, and coddled and instead of having them face some of the realities of the world that that not everything is going to work out the way that you expect it to there's there's bad things going on out there and you can either 
pretend that they don't go on and that the cause of some of these bad things aren't always going to be the boogeyman that you prescribe to or you let them take their knocks and when they fall down you kind of stand them back up and go you know get over it because this is the way of the world once you're out of college the world's not going to give a crap about your feelings the world's not going to give a crap that you know you're some special little person with whatever claims to victimhood that, that you may want to have that's just not the way it is and you need to learn how to get along with people and you need to learn how to get along with people that aren't going to be exactly like you and aren't who aren't going to just pat you on the back and say they're there every single time that, that you have to deal with some kind of adversity it's, it's time that a lot of these kids just need to look around and, and grow up and realize that the world is not going to be the ideal place that they think it is. That the world isn't going to change overnight because you know, they, they went to a, a, a protest and held signs saying whatever it is that, that, they, that they follow. You know, it, it's just, that's not the way things are. Things change slowly. They change very, very slowly. And you can either work for that change and accept the fact that it's not going to happen overnight and there's going to be setbacks and there's going to be times when it's just not going to go your way. That's what you got to deal with. And instead of losing your mind over it, you pick yourself up and you, you get ready for the next fight. That's how it works. Oh, I don't know. This really, you know, this was not where I was planning on going. With, uh, with Guy's Daily Drive. I was just going to talk about my son moving moving to Stafford with his girlfriend. So, here's the plan. He's coming up here tonight. He's going to spend the night. And then in the morning, we're, uh, he's going to drive me over to where the, the rental truck place is. We'll get the truck, and then we drive to uh, her mother's house, pick up some furniture there, when that's here in, in Northern Virginia. Then we drive down to Fredericksburg, where they're living right now, and I guess pick up some of the pieces there, put those in the truck, and then move the whole thing to the new place in Stafford. And it doesn't look like we have a lot of help, so I think it's just going to be Peter and me, which kind of sucks. Um, I don't know, you know, I mean, God, I'm, I'm 58 years old, almost 59 years old, and I just don't have the stamina <laughs> to do these, these kinds of big moves anymore. It's, it's just not in me. But I guess we'll find out how far I can go tomorrow. Now, what else? I'm talking to Mike Potter and Barry Falk, and if you don't know who they are, they are the organizers of the Mac Stock Conference and Expo 2019, which naturally will be held in Woodstock, Illinois. And the, uh, the game show night, which will be Saturday. Now, the, the conference itself is on the 27th and the 20th of July. They're in Woodstock, Illinois, real close to Chicago. And I'm, I'm trying to arrange for us to get together and do a live cast with, you know, Mimo Live or something along those lines. And I... Um, want to put that, I just want to get something out there about, about, you know, the stuff that they're doing. And I still haven't shot any of the footage that I need 
for the video that I want to do. And I'm running out of time for that as well. <sighs> so, that's, that's something else that's on my plate. But I think um, between the rant and talking about the move and talking about Max Stock 2019, that that is going to do it for today. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I need to get some rest. There's no rest for the weary. So if you'd like to get a hold of me, you can catch me. Uh, you can send me an email, guy at mymac.com. You can contact me via Skype, 703-436-9501, 703-436-9501. That's our Skype telephone number. And we also have a uh, all this stuff you can find on our webpage, which is vertshark.com. Dot com, which is also a Twitter handle, VertShark. And of course, Mac Parrot is another Twitter handle that I've been using for a really, really long time. And that's going to do it, I think. So thank you all for downloading and listening to Guy's Daily Drive. I swear I want to do more of these. I really, really do. But it's hard. It's, it's hard to... Not so much find the time, but it's hard. Sometimes it's difficult just to find stuff to talk about. So maybe next time I'll, I'll tell I'll, you know, I'll tell some stories about technical issues that uh, that I've been having lately. I'm sure you all are sick and tired of hearing about uh, Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. So I'm going to try to avoid anything having to do with that. And again, that will do it. I keep saying that, and then I keep talking. So thanks again for watching and or listening to Guy's Daily Drive, and we'll see you next time.